welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. Been doing a little bit of working here, a lot of working on uh, mining up obsidian, but I got to the point where I was kind of tired of that, wanted a break, so I came back here to uh, work on setting up some things here. Now this here is going to be a sorting setup. This here is the killing chamber. This whole level will be dedicated to sorting and storing the various and sundry loots. And let's see, let's get these out of here for a second. I suppose I shouldn't be using that pick for that. Okay. We need hopper here. I need to confirm what direction it's pointing. Okay, good. Now we need hoppers pointing that way. Now under here, in this kind of design that I did in my main world, I noticed that frequently items would be flung out this way and even behind the pistons. So I'm going to cover that by putting some more hoppers here, pointing that way, to catch any of that kind of spill. And now we can put these slabs back down here. Alright, and a couple of blocks of glass right there. And now from here, the hoppers will go this way. Let's see. Well, all right. I'm just going to put a placeholder in here right now. But right there, we'll have a uh, dropper, which will be the part of an item elevator. Items coming in here. The item elevator will come up like so. We'll have another chain of hoppers that comes from it going that way. And then over here, well, in this general area, is where this. Uh, filtering mechanism is going to be based on what I'm what I've done there I need to move this arrangement this way a couple of blocks okay use some stone brick for this and we have repeaters on these blocks All right, now have more blocks here. Redstone torches on them. And then 
here and there. And here. Comparators. And a bit more redstone. Actually, I'm thinking this one, this layer is wrong. Yeah, it is. No, it's okay. I'll get myself in order here before too awfully long. Alright, let's see. Alright, now... Yeah, okay. Here. Hopper pointing that way, and here there will be a chest. I even have a few, so let's go ahead and throw one on here. And then above. We need some more hoppers going that way. Ah. And I'm out of hoppers. How about that? Okay, no problem. Let's see. I'm going to need... Probably 10 or 15 more hoppers, or a dozen anyway. And I know I'm going to need a bunch more chests. We got some iron here. Okay, go ahead and make them all up, I guess. All right, now hoppers going along this way. Wait a minute. I think I have these one block too high. Yeah, all right, break this one. Replace it with one going down into that row. Pick up all the stuff I've dropped. One more here. One more here pointing down. Alright. Now here I'll just have, well, a chest directly underneath. 
which I have to get more of, so we'll just use that as a placeholder. I have hoppers coming down into that. Like so. And then this will be a collection chest for things that don't get filtered. Meanwhile, other things that do get filtered will end up in a row of chests here. Let's get some more chests made up, some of which need to be trap chests. Okay, if I'm not calling correctly. That should take care of that. Okay, this one is a regular chest, so we need to have trap chest up against it. Which one is that? That one's that. Trap chest on this side, and regulars here. Okay, now from underneath, hoppers going into each one. There. Now all I need to do is set these hoppers here on this row for what these things are going to filter. And I also need to uh, look up the diagram for this one and get the item elevator built to bring the items up there. Then, of course, over here, there will be four pistons right over here. In fact, let's see about getting those in place. Actually, those should be sticky pistons, but I can replace them. Let's see. Yeah, I'll get some sticky pistons, or I'll get some slime or whatever, make those into sticky pistons, put them there, put the blocks back. And then coming off of here, will be an arrangement to fire these pistons. No, wait a minute, that needs to be there. Okay, and that'll be repeaters here and here. Redstone coming up there to fire them. And the redstone will come over here and get its signal from a hopper clock. All right, now I need to look up the uh, wherewithal for making the item elevator and get that built, and I'll be right back. All right, things are starting to take shape here. I've got the item elevator built up here. Everything comes through this hopper chain, sent this way into this hopper, or dropper, excuse me, and then elevated up to that one which is pointed this way and it just sends it through a hopper pipe in through the top here. Now ah, uh, okay up here this row of hoppers they're all facing in towards the comparators out there on the other side with hoppers below 
And right here, we've got 21 gravel and one gold nugget, which means that this hopper will pull gold nuggets from this hopper above it. This one will pull gold ingots, and I put gold ingots in there because I have seen zombie pigmen drop gold ingots on occasion. Although I have to admit, I didn't bother to test whether they did that when the machine crushes them or only when the player does it. I don't know. And here I've got feathers, and over here I've got raw chicken because the occasional chicken jockey comes into this too. Zombie pigmen chicken jockeys happen. Not extremely often, but I want the uh, raw chicken and the feathers anyway. And then finally, anything not filtered will end up in here. The beauty of this system is that it can be expanded. I've got room here. I can put at least three more filters on this side. And then if need be, I can move this arrangement down this way and put several more filters out, this, out here. Very handy, very simple, very drop-dead simple. And over here, I've got a basic ethos-style hopper clock over here that, uh, let's see, I've got 35 bits of gravel in here as a timer for how long this thing stays in one position before it flips. And over here, a master switch to turn it on and off. And this will have the thing stay open for a while and stay closed long enough to suffocate whatever's in there. There. And now it'll stay open for a while, more will fall in, and then it'll just keep repeating. And I can come over here and flip that switch to turn the thing off and prevent it from firing again. Which, right now, I don't want it firing because it doesn't have anything to do. The next step on this is I've gone ahead and brought this up another block. Next step on this is to build the water flow platform. Basically a platform here that will have things ending with water flowing right to this edge mops dropping in here and it will flow from that to an edge up here I think I'm gonna make it that tall just to make sure to give myself plenty of room to fall off of it and Like so. And then coming in this side will be the water flow going into there. Mops will drop in there and be dealt with by the machine, the automatic crusher. Now, I decided to do it this way because. In my single player world, I built something like this, but I started basically from the water flow level and then built up for the portals and down for this mechanism. And I ran into some trouble having enough room. So I figured it'd make more sense to build this setup from this level, build it from the bottom up. It would just make more sense. It'd be easier to make sure that I didn't run out of room. And so now. My next step is, as I said, to uh, get working on getting this water flow situation set up and taken care of. That's going to mean building a platform that steps down every eight blocks it comes all the way over to here going up and taking up the entire space set out by this uh, square of torches here 
And that's going to take a while. So I'm going to take some time, get working on that, and then we'll see what to do next. Oh, right. I have got the whole water transport system put together. And now it's just a matter of let's throw some water down in here. So temporarily make up a uh, infinite spring here. And water goes there and here. And I've got some pressure plates. I'm going to want those here and here. And some more water there and here. More pressure plates here and here, and more water here. That's the last part of uh, delivery of mobs down into the kill chamber. And now, all I need to do is, well, let's pull this off. Go up here and kill these blocks that are holding back the water sources. And by the way, the reason for all the torches up here is that I noticed that some of these source blocks were turning to ice. And I really don't care to have that, so until I can arrange for them to be covered, I'll have torches next to them. Everything's heading down this way. Very nice. I'm going to jump in here and pick up all these torches and cobble. Although a lot of it already just did get sent into the system. Some of it wouldn't make it. Some of the items would not make it past the. Uh, pressure plates. So I went ahead and grabbed them. And everything that isn't filtered up to there comes down here. With the exception of gravel, of course, because that's one of the filter ingredients. So, this part of the place is set up and ready to go. And what I need to do next is spend a whole lot of time mining up a whole lot of obsidian and go from there next time I should have enough obsidian to get started on the portal part of this. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye -bye.